Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to my at home waxing video. Today I'm going to show you step by step how I wax my eyebrows at home. It's really easy, so let's just get right into it. So in this video I'm going to be using the Wax Strip Kit by Sally Hansen. It's only like six bucks at the drugstore. You're going to need some tweezers, an eyebrow spoolie, and then two pairs of scissors. One regular pair and one to trim the hairs on your eyebrows. The wax strip kit comes with three different size of strips that you can use. I'm using the smaller size and the largest. Because you're waxing a small area on the face, I'm going to be using a pair of scissors to cut the small strips into twos and the larger one into fours. First you need to rub this strip in between your hands for about 15 seconds to warm up the wax. I like to start between the eyebrows. And then begin by placing the strip straight up and down right next to your eyebrow. So just carefully press the strip down and you're going to press it into place in the direction of the hair growth. So you're just going to stretch out the skin, get a really good grip on the strip and pull it really hard in the opposite direction of the hair growth. Next I like to get the area above my brows to get those little hairs that you can't reach with tweezers. And you're just going to keep repeating the same thing. Press it down in the direction of the hair growth, pull the skin tight, and then yank it off in the direction opposite of the hair growth. For the underside of the eyebrow, you don't want to wax the entire area all in one go. So you're going to want to break it up, use two different strips, and that way you're going to maintain the shape and not wax off too much. Keep in mind while waxing that you don't have to get every single hair with the strips. What we're doing with the strips is we're just going to get the larger areas and the really small hairs that tweezers can't reach. And then when we're all done, we're going to go back in with the tweezers and really focus on giving it a shape and getting those stubborn hairs that wouldn't come off with the wax. After you're finished waxing the larger areas of the brows, grab the after wax oil that comes in the Sally Hansen kit. You're just going to put a little on your finger and rub it around the red areas that you just waxed. This is going to help with the redness and irritation. Your face is going to be red for a little while, but after a few hours you should be fine. Now it's time to grab your tweezers. You're going to grab those stubborn hairs that didn't come off before with the strips, and you're going to use these tweezers to get into those smaller areas to really give yourself the shape that you want. It may help to fill in your eyebrows after you've done the waxing just to see exactly how you would like them, and then take your tweezers and pluck any stray hairs so you have a perfect shape. Last, I'm going to be using my little scissors to trim the long hairs. Just use your spoolie and brush the hairs in an upward motion, and then leaving the hair still in the brush, then take your little scissors and chop off the part where you think it's too long. This part is optional, but I prefer my eyebrows to look like they grow upwards. That's it! It was so easy, and you're going to save a ton of money when you start doing your eyebrows at home. That's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you want to see how I fill in my eyebrows, I have a video posted. I'll link it down below. Thanks again, as always, for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.